Okay, I just want to take a couple of minutes, ladies and gentlemen, please, just a couple of minutes. I want to remind everybody about something, okay? I want to go back. I want to go back to October 15th, 2018. Are you ready for this? Because many people have forgotten. October 15th, 2018. Elizabeth Warren's Twitter. By the way, at real Donald Trump, remember saying on 7-5 that you'd give $1 million to a charity of my choice if my DNA showed Native American ancestry? I remember, and here's the verdict, please send the check to the National Indigenous Women's Resource Center. She included a link to them, and then she put the picture of the Boston Globe's uh, headline on October 15th. Warren reveals test confirming ancestry. Say it again, Joe. Technically, it's not, she's not lying. Except the average Native American ancestry that she has in her is less than the average white person in the country. She is so white, she is more white than white people are. Ah, but he never said how much. Ah, how okay. much had to be in her? So we, we remember we spent weeks on this. Do you remember how the press circled the wagons on Elizabeth Warren? She is Native American. See, and it, we had to break down what the actual one one thousand twenty fourth was. Remember that? Uh, by the way, get your one one thousand twenty fourth uh, Fredo gear now on my shop. Link is in the description of this video. Um, so Elizabeth Warren is one 1,024th Native American, which is less than the average American is. Okay, so she's less Native American than you, me, most people. She's less than every, obviously, Latino person and less than every black person in the country. They're all more Native American than she is. Okay, so now <laughs> I just wanted to remind everybody about this. We spent weeks fighting with Elizabeth Warren and her supporters and members of the media who are trying to say, see, she proved she was Native American. It's 1 1024th, but you know, she still proved it. And then, of course, you start pointing out that it's actually less Native American than literally everybody else. Donald Trump is more Native American than Elizabeth Warren is. And now she has obviously she's apologized for this. She fought, she fought the fight for months trying to convince people, no, see, I'm Native American. Look at my DNA results. Okay. She fought the fight trying to convince everybody. Then she's been apologizing. So she opened up this Native American thing this week and she apologized for the mistake that she made with her ancestry claims. Okay, the mistake. Now she has scrubbed her campaign website of any reference to the DNA results. Any reference to it has been scrubbed from her campaign website. You remember when she went on that uh, that morning zoo show where the the guy asked her if she was the original Rachel Dolezal. Remember that? Um, so, but I just, I here's the thing. I wanted to remind everybody that as she is apologizing for the air quote mistake, her lie, as she's apologizing for all of this, as we look back at her history and realize that she used that for great career advantage. And as she is now scrubbing her website of her DNA results. I just wanted to remind everybody of just, just over a year ago, she was trying to dunk on everybody for this and claiming that her DNA results proved who she was. And simultaneously, while I remind everybody that she put this tweet out there, I also um, am thrilled that it dunks on the Boston Globe running a front page headline of it, that she is Native American. She confirmed her ancestry in this, this, uh, <laughs> this test, uh, I just wanted to remind everyone, okay, because it, it's an imperative that you remember how dramatically things change in a year. And see, now there's a bunch of people running around. I keep seeing this on social media, a bunch of people running around and going, yeah, you know, it was a mistake. It was an accident. Her mom told her this thing. She, she didn't know. Okay. But when she got the DNA results, she knew. Now, I would like to remind everybody, too, of those DNA results, that those DNA results were not actually taken from Native Americans. They were taken from Latinos. Remember that? So they, basically what she did is she shopped around for a DNA person who was not actually a, a forensic DNA analyst, by the way. 
And that person, instead of going to the Native American tribe that Elizabeth Warren proclaimed to be a member of, they went to Mexicans. And I think there was some Guatemalans and Hondurans and things like that in there too. And they took blood samples from them and then tried to derive how close they were with the Native American tribe that Elizabeth Warren was proclaiming to be a part of. And then they took Elizabeth Warren's DNA and were able to go ahead and uh, try and put it up against the other DNA. So she, they never did compare her DNA to the tribe that she claimed membership. They, she's basically one 1,024th Mexican is basically what it is. So, so they had to game the system to even get to that much. That's how white she is. Nothing wrong with being white. There is something wrong with being white and running around pretending you're not. <laughs> right, Rachel Dolezal? Yeah, she's back in the news too. But anyway, I wanted to remind everybody of this. Because for months, her supporters were trying to say this proved that she was Native American. And then something miraculous happened. It, it turns out that Native Americans don't like this either. So then they started speaking out. And then when Native Americans came out and said, um, I'm paraphrasing, obviously, Elizabeth Warren is a dumb, stupid fraud. Then all of a sudden, her supporters went, hmm, do I die on the hill of supporting Elizabeth Warren's claim, knowing full well that even with this heavily manipulated DNA result that we got, she's still less Native American than the average white person in the country? Do we die on this hill? Or do we go with the Native American people? And... Stop talking about it. So they chose to go with the Native American complaint and they stopped talking about it. And Elizabeth Warren has been on an apology tour ever since her presidential campaign is launched. And everywhere she goes, she has asked about it. You lied to everybody and she doesn't dispute the lie anymore. She doesn't dispute it anymore. She apologizes. She just claims it was a mistake. So she apologizes. But I want you to remember that this isn't a woman who is apologizing because she got her history wrong because her mom told her something that wasn't accurate. This is a woman who, after she got the DNA results, ran around for months claiming it proved her claim was legitimate and she was, in fact, a Native American woman. I want to remind you of that because everybody is erasing that from your memory. They're pretending that her and her supporters were not running around claiming that the DNA test validated her claim of being a Native American woman. When in fact her DNA test did not validate her claim of being a Native American woman, it shattered it to pieces in spite of the fact that it was a gamed ploy. And I'm sure it was not the first DNA test run that they did. I'm sure that they did the first run and they went, uh, that's not the result that we were hoping. How can we manipulate this and get better results? And that's when they said, well, let's test Mexicans instead. Mexicans have Native American DNA, which they do. Uh, but again, Depending on where you go, it depends on the tribe. So, I want to remind you that as she is scrubbing her campaign website of everything involving her Native American claim and everything involving her DNA, and as she apologized at this Native American event this week, she apologized for the mistake of making the claim that she was a Native American woman. And as she has been on this apology tour, apologizing to this thing for all of these past several months, I want to remind you that just over a year ago, she was still claiming that the DNA results validated her claim, her false claim of being a Native American woman. I want to remind you of that. October 15th, 2018. By the way, Boston Globe, you suck too. We got more coming up. News Talk 95.3, Michiana's News Channel.